Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Expert Gadgets and welcome to our first PC build video and I have here a $1500 rig that I plan to use for normal gaming and editing. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Now for the components, I have chosen the Core i7-8700 processor clocked at 3.2GHz with 6 cores and 12 threads, which makes it a great balance for both 4K video editing and awesome gaming experience. For the motherboard, we've got an Asus ROG Strix Z370e gaming motherboard, which also has an onboard 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, amazing RGB lights, and two anchored PCIe slots for heavyweight GPUs. Talking about GPUs, we've got the GTX 1060 with 6GB of VRAM from MSI. This one can go up to 1809 MHz and it's got very good fans that are pretty silent but can cool the GPU enough. For RAM, we have 16GB of DDR4 memory from Ballistics clocked at 2400 MHz. And as I will be doing a lot of rendering and gaming on this, cooling is very important. So I got the Corsair H60 liquid cooler which keeps the CPU temperature down. Now for storage, we have the Samsung 860 EVO with 500 GB capacity, which will be useful for faster boot up times and rendering. For backups and storage, I have chosen the WD Blue 4TB hard disk drive, which will be enough for me. Lastly for power supply, we've got the EVGA Bronze 750W semi-modular power supply that will be enough to power all those components mentioned above. And to house all that components, we have the Mastercase 5 from Cooler Master which is a very stealthy looking and sturdy case, which provides enough space for upgrades. And just in case if you're wondering about the setup I've used here, they are the Logitech G433 headphones, which provide amazing directional audio and has great audio quality. And the monitor you see there is the Dell S23 118HN 23-inch IPS LED monitor, and this monitor looks great with its sleek and modern design, and it has really thin bezels, so a dual monitor setup will look amazing. And it's also got good viewing angles and great color. I've also got the Logitech G613 mechanical keyboard, which is very good. And the G603 mouse, which is wireless, and it's got the all-time favorite PMW3366 sensor. Details review on these are coming soon, so stay tuned. As for the speakers you see there, that's the Kanto U4, which I have already reviewed. And all of the products I've mentioned here will be linked down below, so do check it out. Now coming to the performance of the PC. It scored about 11,927 on 3 d Mark Firestrike and 1362 on Cinebench which are very amazing scores. And when playing games on Full HD with all the settings maxed out, it manages to average a frame rate of 74 on Rise of the Tomb Raider. 82 FPS on GTA 5 and about 88 FPS on Battlefield 1, which is enough for 60 FPS gaming. And the rendering was also pretty fast, as rendering a 4 minute video in 4K took 10 minutes, and rendering a 3 minute video in 1080p took less than 3 minutes, which is faster than real time. The PC also manages to stay very quiet and cool even under loads, which is a great plus. All in all, this is a great PC that you can buy under $1500 and all the parts have satisfied me. And the performance it provides is more than enough. So that was it for this video guys, do leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming contents. And don't forget to check out our awesome gaming accessories. And as always, thanks for watching, this is Saman signing off.